So after I worked for Governor Huckabee, he dropped out on, um, on March 4th or May 4th, I believe March 4th, uh, 2008. Uh, that was the day of the Texas primary. Um, and Senator Cornyn hired me on his campaign as his internet director. Um, and I worked for the senator for the rest of that cycle. And then he became the NRSC chairman in, in Washington. And they offered me a, a job when I graduated. So I moved up to uh, DC and I served as the digital director at the NRSC. And at that same time, I started my company. Um, and my my first big uh, race was the Virginia governor's race where I grew up. And Bob McDonald and his uh, team, they knew about me because they would read my blog a lot. So his, his uh, team thought that I would be good to sort of rally all of the bloggers in Virginia. Virginia is arguably, I would say, the most blog friendly still political environment and it's because we're the only state outside of Jersey I believe that has elections every single year. So every single year there's something going on in Virginia. There's a federal election or a state election. So there's always, I mean, when you talk about the constant campaign, I mean, it is a constant campaign in Virginia and there's always content for for a blog. So Bob McDonald was my first big uh, race and he swept to victory in Virginia. And when he actually hired me, um, when I went down to interview with him in Richmond, his his whole thing was he, you know, the Obama digital operation had just occurred and he didn't want to be left behind. So him working with the Republican Governors Association, they spent a lot of time and attention on the digital effort. And actually, it's it's weird thinking about the digital campaign of 2009 compared to the digital campaigns now because Bob McDonald's campaign put a true emphasis on digital. They, they spent about 15% of their media buy on digital. We even went so far as to hire Barack Obama's text messaging company, a company called Distributive Networks. And we, we, um, we spent about $150,000 plus promotions and, and uh, ads on trying to gain text numbers. And, you know, Barack Obama had just gained over a, a million cell phone numbers from um, asking people to text in and then find out who his VP nominee was. So we thought, well, maybe it'd work on the Republican side. Overall, that effort wasn't very successful. We ended up spending about $200,000 if you include promotional materials, and we only ended up with about 9,000 cell phone numbers. But, um, our digital effort was overall um, was a, was a very successful one, and that was my first big campaign.